Let's look at another important type of sequence, the geometric sequence. A geometric sequence has a recursion rule that involves repeated multiplication. And instead of a common difference, we have a common ratio. In this sequence, the common ratio is 2 and the anchor is 1. So the sequence starts with term 1, term 1 having value 1, and then it's built by multiplying by 2. So 1 times 2, 2 times 2 makes 4, 4 times 2 makes 8, and you can see these geometric sequences grow very rapidly. Again, the anchor controls where the sequence begins, and so the sequence could begin at 3, and if we multiply by 2, again, we build this very rapidly growing geometric sequence. Let's take a look at the shape of these sequences if we graph them. Okay, so there's that geometric sequence with the term number or position on the uh, x-axis and the term value on the y-axis. And you can see since it grows so rapidly, it's not linear, but it rather has a J shape. Let me make the common ratio a little smaller and you can see that characteristic J shape. Looks just like an exponential curve. Um, once again though, you'll notice that the first term occurs at position one and it's not really an intercept. If we want to see an intercept, we have to think about elapsed time. Elapsed time once again is n minus one and now that first value is the intercept. Here we can see the exponential curves associated with the two graphs. Here the sequence is generated by a r to the x minus 1 or actually n minus 1 since n is on this axis and that's the characteristic formula for the geometric sequence. Uh, and here we see that the formula is just a r to the x. On this axis, the elapsed time axis x, and this point, the intercept, is the anchor term. And this is just your basic formula for an exponential function.